just got done seeing the movie Air, which is about how Nike was able to get Michael Jordan in 84 to become the face of their basketball shoe, as well as the birth of Air Jordan. Um, this movie was really great. I was super impressed with it. Um, everyone brings their A game when it comes to acting. You know, Viola Davis, Jason Bateman, Ben Affleck, um, Marlon Wayans, Chris Tucker. Everyone really brought their A game. I was really impressed with that. Um, you know what? It's great seeing Ben Affleck back as a filmmaker. You know, his last movie as a filmmaker was in 2016, Live by Night, which to me was the weakest of his directing uh, chops. Uh, just had it's, It was kind of dull, it was kind of generic as a gangster movie, but this is for sure returned to form with him. Uh, it's good seeing him direct a non-crime, non-thriller drama too. Um, this is a yeah, biopic, this is a drama. But you know what, as a biopic and drama, this movie is super funny. The script is really, really crisp, very, very clever. The dialogue's fantastic. It kind of reminded me of, uh, like Aaron Sorkin writing. I was very impressed with it. This movie to me is like Moneyball, Jerry Maguire, and the HBO show Winning Time by the Lakers dynasty in the 70s kind of like combined. It's a great mix of all three of them. Uh, again, writing was very, again, very clever. The humor made me laugh a lot. I laughed a lot more in this movie than I thought it was ever going to be. Again, it had some of the funniest moments I've seen in the movie in a long time. Really, really impressed with the comedy. Um, again, really good pacing. I wasn't, I didn't feel, it didn't feel dull or rushed or like, all right, I'm kind of bored now. No, the pacing was very, very well done. Kept the, kept the going. Not a lot of dull moments. Um, again, I love seeing Chris Tucker back in the movie. It's so fun seeing him in a drama, but also like he's bringing the comedic chops for sure. I wish they used Marlon Wayans a bit more. I'm a huge fan of him as a film, as an actor as well. I wish they kind of like utilized him more as a character, but overall his scene was really good. Um, you know what, and you know what, kudos to Amazon Studios. They're doing, this is their first wide release movie as a studio. In the past, they've done like stuff like a week or two in theaters and they pulled. They're giving this movie a full on wide theatrical release, which to me is very impressive because like Netflix, like other, other streamers too, they're not really giving their movies a full release yet. This is gonna be a full theatrical release. Kudos to them. This is a great movie to like invest in that and like use the first movie to use as like um, the wide release as their first movie coming out. So again, super impressed with that too. Kudos to Amazon Studios. It comes out next week, April 5th. See it in theaters. It's not worth waiting on Amazon Prime if you're asking me. This is a fun movie seeing it with the crowd. My crowd was laughing a lot. The, the jokes were landing. So yeah, it comes out April 5th. Check it out. My full review will come on the page next, probably tomorrow, and also on the next episode of the John Review Live. So check it out then.